In California, there are a number of successor agencies. So on occasion, the legislature closes down an executive branch entity and creates a successor entity. And this necessitates a number of steps to be taken, beginning with the dissolution of the current entity. And that's followed by the creation of the new entity, which succeeds to the now dissolved entity. This may include the prior entity's powers, duties, employees, and the effective date of this transition has to be referenced in the law. So here's an example of a successor entity piece of legislation. The State Water Resources Control Board is hereby dissolved as of January 1, 2025. On that date, the Department of Water Resources succeeds to and is vested with all of the powers, duties, purposes, responsibilities, and jurisdiction vested in the State Water Resources Control Board or any officer or employee thereof under existing law, including but not limited to those laws under which permits or licenses to appropriate water are issued, denied, or revoked, under which the functions of water pollution and quality control are exercised, and under which drinking water is regulated. And so commencing January 1, 2025, any reference to the State Water Resources Control Board in law shall be deemed to be a reference to the Department of Water Resources. Now, in some instances, only a paragraph or two is actually needed for the successor entity to, to take control. However, sometimes more detailed statutory language is required to address changes or limitations on those powers and duties and responsibilities of the successor entity. You know, in 2017, the legislature transferred most of the powers and duties of the State Board of Equalization to the California Department of Tax and Fee Administration, the CDTFA. And rather than change every reference to the re in the Revenue and Taxation Code to reflect this change in authority, they simply added Section 20 to the Rev and Tax Code with this language except as otherwise provided and notwithstanding any other law, board means the California Department of Tax and Fee Administration. And unless the context requires otherwise as used in this code or in any other code, board with respect to an appeal means the Office of Tax Appeals. And unless the context requires otherwise as used in this code or any other code, Board means the State Board of Equalization, where the BOE has retained authority. And finally, this section shall become operative July 1, 2017. Now, there are many other instances among California's 29 codes in which successor entities are named and their authority and responsibility are set forth. These examples I've shared with you limit the amount of bill drafting that must occur and ensure that code sections that might be missed are covered by the all-encompassing language used in these two examples.